So yeah, you get away with that on that, but I think we'd be in trouble if we use that at Project X. Yeah. It would probably, um, I think the fire brigade would be around, wouldn't they? Yeah, people who think the whole place is going on. <laughs> Hi there, you're watching Airsoft Action TV, and uh, Tom and I, Tom and Paul Hibbard, have just got back from Project X in Leicester, and we thought we'd tell you all about it. It is, so Project X is the old Dunlop, it's not quite Dunlop, but the old, the old Dunlop factory um, in Leicester. It's, the entire site is 200, 250,000 square feet with attached offices. The offices still need to be cleaned up, but it's still, I think, probably the, still the biggest indoor yeah, CQB centre in, in, in um, Europe. I mean, we rocked up there and we got there what we thought was quite early. And they've got a car park, which you can use there, which is great. And the car park was pretty much full when we got there. Um, city centre of Leicester. So if you're going to go there, be discreet. Don't rock up looking like you're going to yeah, assault well, the a, embassy. There's a faith school and a, and a mosque nearby. Yeah, so, 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 so they advise that you put everything, including all your plate carriers and rigs and, and stuff. Helmets. Just be sensitive. Inside, inside bags, which you should do anyway, to be fair. Yeah. yeah. But once you're in there, it's brilliant. Uh, you walk through the um, to the safe area, which is one of the better safe areas I've seen in Tis. urban airsoft. Really well kitted out. It's got nice sofas and yeah, comfy chairs. Sofas. And there's a shop in there with a decent range of products. So if you've forgotten your gas or your BBs or even want to have a different different pistol you can sort yourself out yep. um very well marshaled like i mean i think i got checked for magazines and pyro being safe three times on the way from the game zone to actually sit yeah there. i mean i went to chrono and i got checked three times coming back from yeah that, that was nice my, everything was chrono sure my weapon was chrono. yeah um interestingly one thing you will notice when you play there is that you have to use nothing heavier than a 0.25 bb yeah um, but you've got some fragile old glass and the yeah. so, and, but then again it's urban so there's no crosswind so 0 0.23, 0 0.25 you're fine if you're going to use that equally as we kind of mentioned when we were chatting before we introduced ourselves um, smoke grenades not a good idea there because it will look like in an urban area like the factory's on fire and the game will get stopped as the fire brigade <laughs> hose you down with water cannons yeah yeah that's not a great idea and I think also it was um, shot, shotgun primers as well yeah so there's a volume no, limit wasn't there no so. 9 mils on, in, in blank fire grenades but you know BB shower grenades like these sort of things fantastic yep. uh, smaller Smaller devices like the tremory kind of thing. Yes, yeah, right yeah there. tremors with two and nines, Dynatex with two and nines. So, getting on, so fair enough, it's City Centre Leicester, it's easy to get to. Uh, you could probably do it on public transport, again, if you were discreet about what you were carrying, yep. as we've covered in previous issue, episodes. Um, great safe zone. Straight into games, pretty good scenarios. It was all things well, like. Well, it was really nice, know, wasn't it? Because it's not, it's not the old. Um, red versus blue red capture versus, the flag. Red versus blue capture the flag. So, the first game was a kill confirmed. Yeah. So once you shot someone, they had to count to ten, and they could either be medics by their own team, or captured by or you, captured by yeah. you, and you take back any marker. You use a chalkboard, which is really good. So it's the most captures in the game one. Yeah, and a couple of VIPs are running around, which was great. Actually, a really interesting game because if you played if you played it too hard and pushed too hard on the, you made yourself too easy to you capture because you were too, too near the, the spawn point. So it's kind of like a little kind of micro micro tactics thing going on. And there. for the just you'll see in the video footage, we'll show you. But uh, essentially, we were playing on a small bit of the area as we mentioned, two floors connected by stairwells so you could choose to spawn on either floor so if you found you were getting pinned down on one floor yep. you could easily just go right let's let's all and the ram upstairs and, and the stairways were, the side. were out of play as well yeah which um, stops you having that horrible stairway stagnation you get in a lot of sides i think it can be great in a kind of milsim battle sim when you've got players that know what they're doing when you've got a lot of players to all, to all trying to go up a small staircase it can be a complete nightmare yeah. um the site's quite symmetrical isn't it so there's kind of two main factory floors with, with corridors at each narrow end and a lot of artificially built wooden sort of like structures it's 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 really nicely done really nicely built very cleverly thought out fire lanes so yeah you think you're safe from one angle you're not none of the cover is to the point where it's bulletproof for want of a better word or bb proof yeah and there's, there's more cover towards each spawn so the hard the harder bigger covers towards each spawn and yeah. then towards the center of each each uh, area there's less cover so that's kind of cool there's some well. interesting bits where they've got like, like a mesh area so you can't run through it but you can see through it mm. so you're aware of what's coming up and there's also bits between each half of each floor where you can shoot into the other area yeah and there's bits and there's what used to be obviously what used to be some sort of lift uh, indoor factory lift which has now got a barricade around it but you can actually shoot down from one floor into the other yeah. floor which makes them interesting and they, they tend to be in the centre as well which kind of helps because you can't really dominate too much so I like that because one of the game um, scenarios about to say game mode then because I'm getting sucked into that first oh. person shooter culture one oh. of the game scenarios was to essentially capture ammo crates that were yep. 
coloured by whatever team you were, red or blue team. Sort of a domination sort of game. Yeah, it? but it was nice to have movable objectives. Uh, another one where we had a casualty that to be moved that by a stretcher. Fa- that was my favourite. That was really good, because not only did you have to actually find your casualty, which is a shop mannequin, we coloured up with the appropriate... And the stretcher was yeah. on the other floor. Yeah, so there's a lot of fetching and carrying, and you had to do two-man carries on the stretcher, two, or two-hand carries on the stretcher, well, so you're awesome swinging your rifle, yeah. pick, going, buddy, do you want to run with me now? Let's go. And also, and, then we uh, had to play as a team, didn't we? So we had, yeah. and, and once we had located the casualty, we we sort of stood gone and distracted them while they were yeah. So that was really good. It was good fun. It stopped it just being that kind of... Um, well, I wouldn't say mindless. That's a bit cool. It stopped it being that very repetitive dull grind that you get in... Sometimes, if you play in an urban area and there isn't, if there's too much to do, it gets bewildering. If there isn't enough to do, yeah. Well, I think they've learned a lot. So the, the guys behind it also run Extreme Airsoft, yeah, and they run the department, which is the kind of kill house. Yeah, you played there. I, I haven't been there. Yet, yeah, and I really so. enjoyed that. And they've got some. Re- I think they've learned a lot from running from running yeah. um, the department. So they tend to run shorter games, um, and they tend to turn them around quite fast. At the department, because it is so small and it's well worth a visit if you're in the area, is they have half the players playing and half the players not playing. Yeah. And then they turn them around. So they have like 10, 15 minutes. One games. thing I liked about Project Action, though, just to go back to that for a second, is that the engagement range is quite short. So if you actually want to have a game and have fun with a shotgun or a pistol, you're not really as compromised as you would be in a lot of. Yes, you can, yeah. Can you know, a lot of even urban arenas have, like, say, um, let's take Urban Salt. Yeah. Uh, great place to play but there are very big areas between some of the houses and kill houses and that sort of stuff so you do need to be carrying an AD or a decent rifle yeah. you, you pistols and shotguns yeah you can do it but it's hard work actually I saw people using pistols as their main, their main sort of choice yeah well, con- conversely as well if you're not because of because of the open nature it's not set up like a kill house and you'll see some of the footage because of the open nature of the floors you, if you're not too keen on getting shot from three feet away you can, you can stand back a little can, bit yeah, yeah there is the option you can sit so you've got the option of kind of playing what you want which is really nice um, we really enjoyed it I mean food wise they didn't they don't have catering facilities no we the brought time ration of the packs review. along but I think they're working on that they're working on that one lots of chocolate bars and coke and stuff like that yeah, so you're, not, you're not going to starve and hot water you know, yeah. there is a couple of supermarkets nearby but I think I've recommended in the paper review which will be an airsoft action that you, you probably should, the easiest thing to do is to take your own lunch yeah uh, other than that, have you got any other any other things? I just I want to go back really because yep. uh, I managed to because um, I've been tinkering with my favourite gun. And I, managed to, <laughs> oh, yeah. I managed to cheese the gears like three quarters of the way into the day because it's oh, my own fault right. by doing crappy upgrades and not knowing how to do them properly. Um, so no, no now I fixed. fixed it. I want to go there with my new laser cannon gun and well, we uh, do it and give it a, another shot. Same for us. It's it's fairly easy to get to off the M1. Um, good location. Really good site. Nice that you, as we've talked about, nice scenarios. You can play the way you want to play there. So if you want to be up close, you can. If you want to hang back, you can. What's worth mentioning as well, uh, obviously this will vary day to day, but I found the player base to be really good. Uh, it was a lovely mix, wasn't mix, it? Mix of speed softers, mill summers, general open day guys. Everyone was taking their hits. There was no grumbling. Well, not, from, not that I heard. And um, I think it's because it's so close to spawn from the hit out point. What's the point? That no one actually minds getting hit because you've got to, well, it's f- you're five metres back and then. 10 metres to get back to where you yeah, were before, really, yeah. you know. So, yeah, I mean, it was marshals were on the ball. Yeah, really good. Uh, I saw marshals basically moving around where the firefight they were was. They were certainly in the, in the, yeah, they yeah. were certainly in the middle of each each section. Yeah, being aware when people were hit, going, oh, mate, I, actually, I think that one got you there, and calling people out. Or if, you know, I said to one point, I said, Marshall, was that a hit? Was that was that a ricochet? And he went, that was a hit, mate. So right, I'll take that, fair enough. That's good. Well, Marshall, safe, yeah. which is always yeah. actually the first thing. Super safe. The, th- yeah. the first thing we always do when we look at a site is it, fundamentally is it safe? And I felt I felt perfectly safe there. Yeah. Um, so, the, so the website is currently under construction. So the best thing to do is to search for Project X Airsoft on Facebook and they've got all their upcoming game dates on, yeah. on there. The only thing I would probably stress on this once again is it's such a good site and it's got so much potential but it also has the potential for someone to stuff it up if we aren't responsible airsoft. Yeah. So when you do go there just put a big coat over your smock or whatever and put it all in a hold or keep your plate carrier in, yeah. in a bag yeah. because I can just see someone ruining it for everybody if they're not careful yeah. but other than that thumbs up from me. Thumbs um, up from me. Really good site. Yeah highly recommended. Pay my visit. I've been Tom Anvil Hibbard. I've been Gareth Gadge Harvey. Please like, subscribe, and I'll, we'll see you next time.